Yeah, Carly, and what a ride it's been. It is a winner take all. Kind of has that, as I said earlier, a game seven feel as you approach the stadium here today. LSU, three wins away from Omaha, one of them a do or die win tonight against Oregon, a team that they beat last night four to one. And as they say, it's always toughest to close out a team. And this was the scene actually last night, the celebration. LSU fans, they were loud, they were boisterous, especially after that win. And especially after senior closer Devin Fontenot clinched the win under extreme pressure. The Oregon Duck fans kind of came alive there in the later innings. But let me take you back to 2019. Really a sore spot for LSU baseball. Devin Fontenot nearly unhittable against Florida State in a super regional in Baton Rouge. Goes six and a thirds innings pitch. Then in extra innings, the Seminoles finally get to Fontenot. It's been something he's thought about ever since. Last night, though, he shut the door on the Ducks. A moment of redemption he and his family have been anxiously waiting for. There, there he is. What's up? What's up? <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> he was drafted. He chose to not, you know, take the deal and come back for his senior year. Uh, he reached graduation, he got his degree, um, he got his ring, but that's not the ring he wants. He ultimately wants to, you know, go to the College World Series and get that ring for his team. How fired up are you for Monday night? I'm so fired up. I can't wait. I know that our kids are warriors. Um, I know that that team has a lot of heart and they want it for Coach Maneri. That they do. And I was actually talking to another one of the stars from last night, Gavin Dugas, who had a home run and then an inside park home run that was then ruled a triple with an error. And he said that's exactly what he was thinking about in the outfield when Devin came in to shut it all down. Truly one of the unique stories. Devin, as they say, all hands are on deck for tonight. Could see some action to help close out a regional final win. We're going to have more coming up in your Go Nation Sports here in just a few minutes, though. For your Go Nation coverage live in Eugene for right now, I'm Brian Holland. Let's send it back to you.